last week on sharebyhunt.com. So after the surprise and the success of the ram hunt, we still had a little bit of time on the property. So I thought I'd go out there with the muzzle loader and see if I could find that once in a lifetime deer. So um, after the ram this morning, we're going to head out now. Um, going solo today, no cameraman. Um, this is, hopefully we can catch up with maybe a big red or a big fallow stag or something like that. But we'll um, we'll just have to have a go. See how it goes, we're running short on time now, so. So after hunting all afternoon and seeing a whole bunch of deer, I then saw the largest red stag I had ever seen in my life. The sort of red that just brings goosebumps to your skin. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It's a big deer. Look at him. So after watching that brute of a stag go over that hill, I knew I needed to try and get him. Now it was going to be really tough because I had a muzzle loader in hand and I had to be about 70 metres from the stag to get him. But I knew this was a once in a lifetime animal and I just had to try. So I hunted on, seeing lots of other deer along the way, just hoping that I wouldn't disturb too many animals and I'd be able to get close enough to that big guy that I'd seen earlier. And then, Lady Luck threw a spanner in the works. Another huge red stag. Now this stag was in a better position I knew I could get to him, but after having a close look at him, I also knew that he was slightly smaller than the one I've seen before. It was a tough decision, but one that I had to make, and I made the decision to go after the big guy. I couldn't live with myself knowing that I took the easier option. And so, I continued on, and left what could be the stag of a lifetime behind. And so, I continue on after the big guy that I'd seen earlier in the day. Now unfortunately, I didn't have my cameraman with me, but it went down a little something like this. I got to the bottom of the hill where I'd seen him earlier in the day. I'd seen him feed over that hill and out of sight. And so as I made my way to that rough area, I spooked some deer up over the hill. I knew that that was a mistake, and pretty much anything on the other side is going to be gone, and going to be gone really quickly. So I quickly skirted around the bottom of the hill, chose an escape route, and just hoped for the best. Maybe, if I was really lucky, my deer might come down that escape route. Wouldn't you believe it? As I made my way there, and I set up just to watch, hoping and sort of thinking it wasn't going to happen, out came Red Deer. One, two, three, four, five, 
And then all of a sudden, my big guy, the biggest deer I'd ever seen in my life. He made his way down that route. I yelled out to him to stop him. He paused for a second, boom, with a muzzleloader. I had him, the deer of a lifetime and a plan that came off. Well, we got it done. So, um, by far the biggest red stag I've ever hunted. Um, I think this is about the fourth stag I've had the pleasure of hunting in my, in my life, but um, nowhere near. I've never even seen a, a stag this big before, so over the moon. And to get it done with a, a muzzle loader uh, is just a, a huge accomplishment. I'm over the, over the moon, absolutely ecstatic.